Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. I'm joined by John Crump of Ammo Land News, and this is another episode of Breaking News with Ammo Land. John, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, today, we actually have a follow-up from a story that we talked about um, at this point, maybe a few weeks ago, um, in regards to Colorado and red flag laws, right? That is correct. Yeah, so I'm going to try to um, to share my share my phone with everyone so you guys can see this. Basically, this looks like an arrest warrant. There's a woman here, Susan Holmes. Uh, this link that you sent me looks like an arrest warrant for her. It says, warrant issued for woman who tried to use red flag law to disarm officer. That is correct, and we actually have an update as we're on the air here. Oh, okay. What's uh, going on with this? She has been arrested. She's been arrested. Okay, <laughs> that's... I think this is good news. Um, so, so backtrack here to uh, to what initially happened that we talked about, and then how did how did this ar arrest warrant get issued for her? Yeah, Susan Holmes is the mother of a guy who charged police officers with a knife. Mm -hmm. It was all caught on body cam. It was a good shoot. There's no question of that. Yeah, it seems like he wanted to commit suicide by by a police he, officer, right? He definitely wanted to commit suicide by cop. Mm -hmm. And he said as much. So he charged an officer named Officer Morris. Mm -hmm. Officer Morris was forced to shoot and kill him. Mm -hmm. This happened back in 2017. Yeah. Steven Holmes, taking advantage of the new Colorado red flag laws that went into effect at the beginning of January, took out an extreme risk protection order against the officer. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the questions is, do you have a child in common with the person who is the target of the Urbo. Right. She said yes, because she said, well, he shot my son, so we definitely have someone in common. Yeah, which is a complete lie. He, he, he has no relationship to this kid. He was basically doing his job. I think from what I remember from reading the story, he wasn't the only officer there. No. Um, he was just doing his job. But as we've told people in the past, I know you have and I have, when, you know, I this is why I think these new red flag laws are completely unnecessary because we already have mechanisms in place to deal with situations like this. But by creating these these laws and rushing into it, as a lot of states have, they've created now a way for people to weaponize this and use this against people that they just don't like for whatever reason. That is absolutely correct. Yeah. So this is what happened with her. She basically lied. Um, how did that lead to this arrest warrant being issued for her? Well, the the cop had to go to court and he had to clear his name in court, which mm -hmm. cost him a lot of money, which mm -hmm. is another thing that is bad about red flag laws. Mm -hmm. Well, she said that they had a kid in common under oath, mm -hmm. which led to the charge of felony perjury. Mm hmm. Why, so, why would it why wouldn't the courts just throw this out just on the face of it? Like what kind of research would they have to do to see that there isn't any kind of actual relationship between the two of them and throw them out? How does it get to court? And why does the judge even believe like believe her or let her testify to something that's blatantly false and a lie? Well, it's not about the judge believing her or not. It's just mm -hmm. that the way the laws are written mm -hmm. um, there has to be a court hearing for her. Oh, okay. 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 So they had to have this. She went there and still insisted that well, this. Well, she lied on the paper, um, mm -hmm. which is also perjury. If you mm -hmm. lie on the paper, the cop right. had to go to court. Yeah. Uh, so she didn't turn herself in, and we are just getting word it, that she has been arrested. And apparently, there is video of her being arrested. So. Oh, okay. So. Um... How does she wind up on the run? They they asked her to turn herself in, and she tried to run for it? Well, they issued an arrest warrant, and it was reported on the news that there was an arrest warrant out for her. Okay, so was she like, you know, was she actually seriously on the run? Was she trying to, you know, was she well, trying to get out of the state? What was going on there? They couldn't find her, and mm -hmm. it looked like she wasn't really willing to turn herself in, but mm -hmm. we don't really have an the information about that oh okay okay but she is in custody right now 
She is in custody, yes. Okay, what do you what do you think happens from here? She's going to it's a felony charge, so it's a pretty serious charge. Mm-hmm. I would suspect that it will lead to maybe a little bit of jail time, probably under a year, mm-hmm. um, or a fine or both. Okay. Are there fines in place in that red flag law? Do you know if the red flag law itself put, uh, Im- imposed fines or not? There is fines for felonies and okay. jail for felony for felony perjury. Oh, okay. And so then, what about the police officer? Does he? What does he have to do? Like go to civil court now, try to sue to get the money back? Yeah. Well, he can sue to try to get the money back, mm-hmm. but it depends on if she has any money to give back. Yeah. And in a lot of civil cases, it's really hard to collect. Yeah, absolutely. So he's out, like legal fees and stuff, basically. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about this in general, man? I know that you've been following a lot of the red flag laws stories and and um, you know things that have happened after that. What do you think about this this particular one? It just shows you another reason why red flag laws are not good and the abuses that people can uh, do with ERPOs. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, I, I mean, uh, you know, I know I'd be happy for the folks here watching the video to tell us what you think about this, what do you, you know, what kind of punishments you think should be levied on her. Um, I think that, I'm I'm not sure that this is going to be enough to let states like Colorado, Florida has these, um, lots of states trying to put red flag laws into effect. I don't know if this is going to be enough to let them know that these laws are really, really dangerous. They're not productive. And we should just deal with stuff that's already on the books and have folks uh, do their due diligence on that. But um, I hope I hope that's what's going to happen. Somehow, something tells me in the back of my mind, no. What about you? What do you think? You think any of this is going to turn it around and be enough evidence for people trying to push this forward in America to realize that it's uh, it's probably a really, really bad idea? Absolutely not. I mean, if, if yeah. what's happened so far hasn't uh, shown that red flag laws are bad, if nothing, nothing will. Uh, there's ideologues on the other side that demonize guns and they just see this as another mechanism to get those guns away. I call them uh, gun confiscation orders because basically that's what they are. Yeah. Um, what, what could, if someone out there feels like um, they were wrongly, um, you know, this, this these ERPO laws or red flag laws were wrongly used against them, what recourse do they have? What can they do? Is there? Do we have any resources, anyone they can reach out to? A lot of people this is going to happen to won't have the resources to fight back. Uh, they can always contact me. Uh, they can contact me at john.crump at gunowners.org. I do work with Gun Owners of America, and I can see what I can do to try to help them out. Okay. All right, cool. Um, listen, I, I invite everyone to leave their comments here. Let us know what they think about this. I don't know if you have any uh, final comments on it, John. No, just we have to fight against the uh, unconstitutional laws that rob us of due process as well as our Second Amendment rights. All right, cool. Um, if you if you guys uh, are looking for this article, you can find it on Ammo Land. How else can folks get in touch with you or what else would you like them to follow out there? Uh, they can follow my Facebook page at uh, Real John Crump over at Facebook and also on Instagram. Yeah, I wish I had a, a Facebook fan page up right now. I don't. <laughs> but uh, but folks can follow me. Go to HankStrange.com if you want to see the, the other ways that you can follow me. That's always the best thing to do. And uh, we'll try to keep you guys up to date with what's going on with uh, my Facebook page. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks for coming in here. Like I said, make sure that you go to HankStrange.com, follow MLN News. Uh, smash the thumbs ups here, leave your comments, and of course, ring the bell so you can be notified every time we go live. We're out of here. Peace.